Hello, welcome to another edition of Turn 7 with the Wahoo Warrior. Uh, today I want to talk about flamethrowers. Uh, I've been putting up these videos and commenting a lot on the line as far as rules changes and whatnot. And since my last video about the inexperienced uh, just buying the minus one, uh, I've kind of backed off on that one. What I really think as far as uh, that needs to be addressed, what I'd like to see, what I would personally like to see is when they come out with season uh, uh, second edition bolt action, that they value the points correctly so you get that nice three tier. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to be able to do the minus one in that some various armies are kind of built around army rules that prohibit that. Uh, you know, maybe the paint, the point score should be, you know, eight, uh, removing the minus one, 10 for regular and 12 for veteran. Uh, so you get a nice three tier troop type. I haven't done all the math on it, but I can tell that the, that's probably the most controversial thing that I've suggested and that it does affect kind of a broad base of various armies. But flamethrowers, we, we can all agree on, are uh, very powerful items in the game. Uh, there's no restriction uh, in most of your tournaments for anything other than vehicle flamethrowers. Uh, they're basically vehicle flamethrowers in almost every tournament packet that I've seen are not allowed. Uh, but there's really not a restriction on infantry-based ones. And there's certain armies that could make basically a flamethrower festival uh, in their army list. The Americans could take uh, engineers uh, at regular or veteran and uh, put a flamethrower in each one of their units, uh, mount them up in some uh, trucks or half-tracks. Uh, you could take a flamethrower team, put them in a Jeep, zoom them up, and flamethrower away. Uh, Bolt Action Season 3, uh, which is the user type of content format, uh, a lot of, they've kind of settled on uh, making flamethrowers uh, hit on a 3-up to uh, keep them from just auto-destroying pretty much anything they get in contact with. Uh, you know, flamethrowers D6 hits, plus 2 penetration, force a... Uh, morale check after you apply the pins uh, to whatever unit they shoot at and uh, they, they're very brutal so uh, three up uh, I just played my last game uh, a couple days ago and I missed on two of my three flamethrower shots uh, needing three or higher so that was interesting um, the proposal that I think that flamethrowers should be is uh, that they should be a fixed team uh, it's a mechanic that's already in war, in bolt action. Uh, they have fixed team mechanic. It's something that's already in the rule system. It's not creating something new. Uh, if you think about uh, the difficulty that teams often had in employing a flamethrower, is that it was a, a cumbersome, dangerous to use weapon. Uh, it was used very, very effectively against uh, hard targets, uh, bunkers, tunnel systems. Uh, it was made for that. Uh, teams would, the infantry squads would work their way up and when they encounter resistance like that they'd bring a flamethrower in and the flamethrower would clear it out. Uh, I can't think of any documented cases that uh, involved a large amount of flamethrowers being driven up in jeeps where they jump out and torch whatever's in front of them. Uh, they were used to assist infantry in clearing out hard targets. And if you made the rule flamethrowers are fixed teams, it would, you, you, could, you could make them, put them back to where they auto hit, uh, it would just make them much more interesting to play with and play against. Uh, the power of the flamethrower would still be there. Uh, if you've maneuvered your infantry squad into a nice position and then on, when you pull your next order dice you can torch something, uh, have at it. If somebody is in a pillbox or a uh, hardened building uh, where you need sixes to kill them and you can't get them out, uh, flame them. Flame them up. Uh, on a, on a, uh, like a half-track rush, you, you jump out with your squad and you light them up with the submachine guns, that's fine. And that that's the turn that the guy's getting the flamethrower prepared. 
and then on the next order dice you can go ahead and torch them up. Uh, it's just something to think about. It really limits flamethrowers, but the flamethrowers in, in the, themselves are still very, very powerful. Removing the to hit, and they, they, they kill basically what they, what they flamethrower, which is what flamethrowers did. It's just another rule, uh, interesting thought to, to bring balance to the game, to bring uh, because you could take as many flamethrowers as you want. If I know that I'm going to counter your infantry like I would normally counter your infantry, and that you're not going, I could have uh, multiple units in a, in a field of fire. That does not prohibit a flamethrower jeep from coming up, guy jumping out and destroying one of my units. So. Uh, just something to think about. I think it's an interesting proposal. Let me know what you think or not, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching.